Colin, my friend, ladies and gentlemen, Mark Meadows. He looks so unassuming, a mild-mannered evangelical congressman from North Carolina married to the same woman for nearly 40 years. But looks can be deceiving. Mark Meadows is a major power player in Washington. We are standing in the fight with you. It is time that we make sure they feel the heat. We're ready to take back our country. Meadows leads the Freedom Caucus, a group of 30-plus House conservatives that can make or break a president's agenda. Last month, Meadows and his merry men stood in firm opposition against the GOP leadership in the White House, demanding a better health care bill. And President Trump wasn't happy. Uh, President Trump is up and tweeting uh, this morning, and it's about you. The presidential tweet read, if Rep. Mark Meadows would get on board, we would have both great health care and massive tax cuts and reform. How has it felt as, as, as the, the leader of the Freedom Caucus, Freedom Caucus in general, right. to kind of be this punching bag, if you will, in the media? Yeah. And, and honestly, sometimes on Donald Trump's, uh, President Trump's Twitter feed, yeah. uh, you can do a lot of damage in 140 characters. I don't take his tweets as personal. You know, they're part of the negotiation, part of getting people to move to get to, uh, to a yes. Uh, being a punching bag is um, difficult because sometimes the narratives are just not true. The narrative on Meadows and the Freedom Caucus, too rigid and demanding. There's been talk about us moving the goalposts. Well, we have. We've moved it closer to a solution, not further away. While the verdict is still out on whether the group's tactics will lead to a better health care bill, most agree that Meadows is a tough negotiator who likes a challenge. That could be because he's faced them before. As a high school sophomore, he weighed in at about 240 pounds and stood just five foot four. Two years later, a better diet and exercise helped him lose more than 50 pounds. Anybody who has looked at uh, their weight and struggled with their weight, uh, define it, you know, it doesn't define who I am, but it certainly, you know, you can you can feel the scars of you know uh, wanting to be accepted, wanting uh, hearing people talk about you. They're sure talking about him today. Look for him to be at the center of any key issue, like the upcoming tax reform negotiation. Meadows will be the one ensuring President Trump and GOP leadership stay true to conservative principles. And those who stray know he can be a thorn in their side. In 2015, Meadows pushed to remove John Boehner as speaker. And before that, he played a key role in shutting down the federal government. He knows the D.C. knives will come out against him again, but Meadows walks by faith, accompanied by solid approval numbers as well in his home district. When you have a faith in your Lord, when you have the backing of literally thousands of friends, it, it does your heart good. And his heart tries to draw closer to the Lord every day. I have a quiet time every morning, and so I'm, I'm in the scriptures on a, on a daily basis. He'll need it. While he may have walked away from the health care fight with bruises, Meadows believes patients helped in that situation. Ironically, that was the exact topic in Bible study at the time. Patience is not a virtue that comes easily to me, but uh, it's, it's been to wait upon the Lord. And, uh, and so as I see that, that has been reminded uh, over and over and over again, and it's confirmed over uh, a dozen different places where whether it's in Scripture or by other people sharing encouraging thoughts, uh, that's where it's been. But Meadows knows it will take more than patience and encouragement to help him deal with the pressure that constant media attention can bring. What I hope uh, that I've been able to portray is a real humble spirit in everything that I do, because this is not about me. It's not about uh, really the Freedom Caucus. It's, it's about the people of this great country that, that God has blessed. The question now, will Meadows, the Freedom Caucus, and the White House be blessed with legislative compromises that will determine the future of the Republican Party? David Brody, CBN News, Washington.